we start with high resolution pictures taken on the crocodile or juvenile animal, for example, and then we feed that into software to generate the 3D model of the animal. So we get the geometry of the head, as you can see here, and if you zoom in, you see the resolution, the geometric resolution, all these little triangles give you the resolution of the geometry of the animal. But then we also call the images that have been used for making this geometry, so we also reconstruct the texture, the color texture, not just the geometry, we have both. Okay? And we can call any image on any place of the, of the model. And then we mark the different features on the model, so we mark the edges and the nodes of the scales and also the little receptors that are distributed on the face of the animal. So what you get at the end is the model itself, the texture, the color texture, I mean, and you also have the marking and everything related to the scales. And then we also have tools like this blue plane that you see now. This blue plane is automatically generated to get the best symmetry between the left and the right, and we can visualize the mirroring of the left to the right and the right to the left so that we can compare very easily now the pattern on the right and the pattern on, on the left. Then you can remove the model itself. You are left with everything you have marked. So here you see the red edges of all the scales. And with this, you can then compute and visualize various statistics, such as here polygon area. So you see that the different scales are, have different colors depending on their size. But you can also mark them differently on the basis of the number of sides of each scale. You can look at the distribution and density of these little organs, these DPRs, that's what we see now in, in, in different colors from blue to red. And then you see that the uh, density of these DPRs is actually inversely correlated with the position of the scale edges. So actually, once you have all these features have been marked, you can actually visualize many, many different statistics for this mathematical analysis of the scale pattern on the face and jaws of crocodiles.